What's up, you fishing fools? Got a little package here. I think I have an idea what it is. Let's see. If you know what that is. So I'm gonna try this. I just got this in. This is supposed to be a Vortex mixer. Um, basically, what they use it for is in hospitals and stuff, they hold their little test tube on there and it shakes and it spins and it's supposed to spin and mix the blood or whatever they're trying to mix. Um, but I've seen a lot of reviews where they use this to mix paint. So let's see what we got here. We got a power cord. Mm, they sent us a little test tube, I guess. And this is the actual little mixer. And I don't know, man, this may work, it may not work, but you can see they got this little indention here. So supposedly whatever liquid you have in this thing, you could hold it here and it shakes it. I think, that um, like the little two ounce paint bottles that I use will work on this, but we'll find out. We'll try it and hopefully it won't be too loud. So we'll see how she goes. Here's the power cord. Go ahead and plug this in over here somewhere. Now, I don't even know if there's an on or off button on this. And of course, I'm not good with directions. So I'll just plug this in. Oh, so basically, it looks like you push it down and it kind of wobbles and vibrates. So let's try out the paint and just see. Um, this is a wicked paint. This is uh, one of the metallic paints. This is a... a wicked metallic flashback and you can see how it's blue up here and then this kind of goldish has settled at the bottom. I find that these paints that have any metallic in it are a real pain in the butt to mix and I mean you're shaking them forever so I figured I'd try this out. So let's just see what happens. So in theory I should hold it like this and as this wobbles and spins it's supposed to create like a vortex or a, or a tornado type motion in this bottle and get this paint mixed. Um, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Let's check it out. So it's starting to mix it a little bit. Um, I don't know if this thing would really be worth it to do. Um, now see, it's already quit working. There it goes. So the only down part is you have to hold it on there. See a vortex formed in it. You gotta hold it on there just right to get it to go. All right, there we go, now we're going. But man, if you don't hold it just right, it won't even spin. We're gonna hold it on there a second and see so far, I mean, it's starting to mix it a little bit. I'm not super impressed, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a chance. Um, like I said, this is one of the harder paints with this metallic stuff in there to mix. So I'm giving this a, a chance. Um, I can already tell you one thing I don't like is you have to have it positioned on there just right to even get it to kick on. And then you have to hold it on there. It's vibrating my hand pretty good. Um, I can see that getting uncomfortable. 
So I'm not sure if that's any better than not just shaking it. Um, we'll see. I'm going to give it a little bit longer and see, but I'm not like totally impressed by any means. And like I said, this is one of the harder type paints to mix. Um, it is definitely mixing it some, um, but this is a pretty viscous paint. So we'll just see. I'll keep going for a little bit longer. But like I said, I'm not so sure that this is better than uh, just shaking it. It is definitely mixing it up. I can see some of the gold coming up in the top. But I mean, if you have to sit here and hold this for 30 minutes, vibrating like this, I think you do just as good to shake it. Um, again, some of your normal color paints, this may not be so bad. Um, I think maybe with the golden that I shoot, that's the golden high flow that's a little bit thinner than um, some of this wicked paint, it may do pretty good. but so far I'm not like super overly impressed at all. So you can see it has started mixing some. Uh, you can see a little bit gold coming up into the blue, which it didn't have before. Um, but like I said, I could probably shake this in 60 seconds or you know, maybe even 120 seconds, two minutes and probably get this mix better than this. Maybe if I put it at a little bit different angle. Um, I don't really get, I mean, it's spinning, but I don't really see how it's gonna create a vortex in here anyway. This paint's pretty viscous and it's really doing more vibrating to me than what it is like gonna form a vortex in there, but who knows. I guess I could try it with some water or something and see what it would do. Something clear. Let's see if it was forming a vortex. But you know, this is kind of pointless to me. If you're gonna sit here and hold this on there, it's not really mixing it any better. So like I said, you can see I guess it is kind of forming a vortex because you can kind of see the lines to where it's looks like it's probably is spinning in there. Um, but so far, I'm really not that impressed with this. Um, and you can hear this is a thick paint and that's why I did this paint. Um, so let's see, let's shake it for a minute and see if it, if it does even better with me shaking it. You can hear the ball and everything. You can hear how thick it is just the way the ball shaking around in there. So you can see already, even though this is a harder paint to mix with me shaking it, you're getting more result than, than this little thing. Um, there are several different brands on the market. I can tell you, I'm not impressed with this. Uh, it has to be positioned just right on here to get it to turn on. Um, I don't see where it's any better than shaking it. Like I said, with some um, thinner paints maybe, um, but this is one that's kind of hard to mix, some of these metallics. Um, so I figured I would give this a shot because if you could mix this, I know it would mix the other stuff. Um, and I'm not saying it doesn't work. You can see that it works, but I just don't think that it's any more uh, efficient than just shaking it. And that's just my opinion. Somebody else may have this and absolutely love it. Um, I would say my money. <laughs> it's just, I'm not super impressed with it. Not super impressed with it at all. <laughs> So anyway, that's my honest review of this. Um, nobody sent me this. 
I paid for it out of my own pocket because I thought it would be pretty interesting if it would do what some of the things claim it would do. Now, you know, if you're mixing stuff in this, it definitely could be better. So let's just try one little experiment here. Um, this is just some airbrush cleaner and it's clear. Um, let's just see if we're getting any vortex action out of this thing because we can see in this clear liquid here. Um, turn it around a little bit. So there's your clear liquid and you probably won't be able to see it on this video, but so I, the way this is supposed to work with this test tube is this goes right here in the middle. Now you can actually, I don't know if you can see it in here, um, but it's actually with this thinner stuff, it's creating a vortex. The, the liquid's actually spinning in here. So for some applications, this little thing would probably be good. Um, for this thicker paint, I'm certainly not impressed with it. Um, but there's definitely, man, you can see like the little tornado spinning in there. And I don't know if you can see that, but do it again. So for some applications, you know, it may be pretty good. See if I have a, uh, here's a, here's a golden paint that's a little bit thinner. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit settled on the bottom of this sap green. So let's try it in this. This is definitely a thinner paint. Um, this, this is probably about the thickest I have as far as uh, mixing with the metallics in it. And the high flow, man, it, to me, it's one of my favorites because you don't have to thin it or anything. It's just about like water as is. So, even with this, um, I can still see some, it's not mixed. I still see a lot of the pigment at the bottom. So, um, for some applications, this thing's probably good. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't waste my money on it for paint. That's just me. I'd just seem shake it as I would sit here and hold it on this vibrating thing. Give it a few more minutes just to see. Um, yeah, you can see it's starting to mix it a little bit, but definitely not like that vortex and that clear water type stuff. So I don't know. For me, it's just it's not worth it. Um, I figured I'd give it a try. Like I said, some of these paints are a little bit harder to mix. Um, but from what I've seen, yeah, see that's already just about mixed, just shaking it that little bit compared to this spin, spinning action stuff. And I think what it is, is maybe that vortex is not strong enough to pull that pigment up off the bottom. But you can see just me shaking that, that little bit, um, that pigment's pretty much off the bottom and already starting to mix. So, I don't know. If you wanted this for something else to mix, um, it may not be too bad. But um, for me, for paint, I don't think so. Anyway, that's my review. Like I said, just my opinion. I bought this to try it out. Nobody paid me or anything. Um, I just don't think it works for what I need. Anyway, Walsh Hall Custom Baits, baby. Get you some.